participants and um, we basically feel that if you identify with this program then the program is for you. I've been involved for a long time mostly because I have a son with disabilities and he has participated in Special Olympics and then Team Davis for as long as we've moved, you know since we moved here. We established our nonprofit in 2006 although prior to that we'd been um, existing as our local Special Olympics team. In 2006 we decided we wanted to do more than, than just the sports. We wanted to do some other things as well and so we formed um, the uh, Team Davis Local Support Fund in order to be able to facilitate our doing a lot of other activities like art and singing and a nutrition class and dances. Our mission is to create opportunities for social and recreational and uh, athletic opportunities, um, but kind of at the core of, of our existence is to also provide opportunities for our participants to more fully integrate into the Davis community. Could it be? Cohen. I uh, lead the Team Davis Singers with Josh Jordan. I have been a disability rights lawyer my whole career, and so I'm very interested in working with people with disabilities. And when I moved to Davis a couple of years ago, I got to know Robin, and I asked if there was any opportunity for volunteering with Team Davis, and I'm also interested in music, and so there was this uh, opportunity to help Josh with the singing class, so I grabbed it. I first became involved with Team Davis because I have a child who is uh, an adult living with autism. When he was a teenager, he uh, became involved with uh, Team Davis. Well, the choral group um, existed as a karaoke uh, style um, singing group, and I was asked to take over in 2013 by Robin Dewey. And um, I turned it into more of a live music type of thing. The singing group helps get people out into the community, and um, the community also has uh, been very receptive to the singers. Parents of participants have been very, very uh, supportive and giving positive feedback, explaining several times how much it means to them and to uh, the rest of their family to have uh, their, their participants or their, their children um, participate in this. Every time the singers perform, the individuals involved are very anxious and nervous about the performance. And that's a learning exercise each and every time. So they express their anxiety, they get each other all riled up, and then they comfort each other and they help each other. And after the fact, they get so excited about how much fun it was. And it's just wonderful to see how much they help each other and um, how much self-confidence they gain from the experience and how much fun they have. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please make welcome the Team Davis Singers. Singing a lot it just makes me calm and I like it. What do you enjoy about singing, Brian? Uh, I love um, the, the, the different songs that we sing. Play I play a guitar. You play guitar? Yeah. How come you're not bringing it to the group? I don't know. <laughs> if you could 
tell me a little bit about why you enjoy singing with the uh, Davis group here. It's just so much fun and I feel like I'm like included and it's fun to sing and also do other choirs too at school and a lot of, <laughs> okay. lots of, it's just fun for me. Okay, cool. And do you enjoy work, uh, singing with the other people in the, in the uh, group? Yes, it's okay. really fun. And what do you like about Team Davis, the singing group that you're in? Uh, they help us out a lot. Okay, can you maybe name a way they help you out? Uh, they help us with, with our jobs and different things like that in life. I think the most glaring need right now for people with, with disabilities is employment. I, I think if, if there are business owners or the city or, or the campus uh, can offer opportunities for people with disabilities to, to do meaningful work, it goes a long way. It's something that all of us want in our lives. And um, it's really, really important to being a successful adult is having some meaningful employment that you can do and, and um, feel good about. It. One of the greatest needs of this population is for uh, social interactions, both with each other and with members of the general community. And Team Davis does a great job with both. One of the things that Team Davis tries to do is provide leadership opportunities for our participants um, or opportunities to uh, be out in public. It provides opportunities for um, recreational and social opportunities for these individuals who have disabilities um, that's geared toward them, which is great, and that it also brings them out into the community. Uh, for example, the dances at the graduate, it's very integrated. There are people with and without disabilities there. And it's a lot of fun. And I've noticed how well the Team Davis singers interact not only with each other, but with the rest of the community. I get a lot I get a lot out of this experience. I really do. I love the singers and I love uh, working with them and um, they've given me at least as much as I've given to them. It's been very rewarding for me. Um, it's given me an opportunity to uh, develop as an educator, which is my profession, um, giving me a somewhat different perspective than my day job on uh, how people learn and so it's, it's been very rewarding for me. Look at me, I can be center field. <laughs> to me, one of the best things about Team Davis is that we have such great volunteers. And these are folks that have been volunteering for years. Team Davis is very rare, in my opinion, in the sense that it not only provides opportunities for people with disabilities to uh, engage in social and uh, recreational and sports activities, but it also brings people with and without disabilities together in the community in a way that I think is really unusual and really great. And our website address is www.team-davis.org and um, there's information about how to donate to Team Davis on the website uh, as well. 
and how to contact us. If you if you email mail us or there's a telephone number, we'll get we'll get that and give you a call back or, or email you. I'm ready to play. Yeah. Look at me.